We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. Right now. Welcome back to the Daily Helpline. With us now is Shelly, and Shelly was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer in 2009, and her life hasn't quite been the same since then. Is that right, Shelly? Correct, yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about your story. Well, um, I always thought that at this age and stage of my life, with all of my kids being adults and on their own, that I would be independent, a homeowner, settled in my career, and then my diagnosis came. Mm -hmm. And during chemotherapy, I tried to pick myself up, and I enrolled into grad school, and I started grad school, and I realized it was too much mm -hmm. to do homework and work on a master's degree while doing chemotherapy, so I withdrew from the program. And so now I'm at that point where I'm thinking, do I go back or do I try to pick up the pieces from, from where I am now. Hmm. now what, tell me about just getting diagnosed and the, the process of getting treatment and what that was like. It was horrible. Um, I was actually working on my bachelor's degree when I found out I have a brain tumor. Hmm. And so I went through MRIs every six months and I continued in school. And after I finished, I finished in 2006, and by 2009 is when the tumor was growing, and I had a biopsy, and the results came back cancer. And the treatment was horrific. What was the hardest part? <sighs> the radiation. Believe it or not, I went through so much nausea with the radiation and the hair loss, and lost 30 pounds, and I'm not big anyway, so that was hard. But what people don't really talk about is how it affects you as a person, not just physically. So I'm just trying to pick up the pieces. I just feel very broken. I don't feel like the same person. During my undergrad, I'm all about making all A's. I just, I look for what type of honor programs they have, and. And that's how I go at um, pursuing a degree. So during the semester that I was in grad school, I was frustrated because I was struggling with my memory. And it was just hard. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and, and um, living every day in fear of when's the other shoe going to drop. Right. And that's what it's like when it's a shoe going to drop. And people, especially my family, look at me and, and my friends and they think, well, you look great. You must be OK. They don't know what's going on internally. It seems like you're asking us about how to improve the quality of your life yes. instead of being focused on the quantity. Yes, yes. And it, it feels like you spent some time thinking about the dying process. And what we know, research of terminally ill patients, is that in order to die well, you have to live well. Amen. Right. And what we want to know, what we want to help you find, is, is what's keeping you from living well now? Aside from your physical symptoms, which you've talked about. I know you also talked to us a little bit about depression. So let's, I want to hear about that. One thing that I don't allow myself to do is just cry and get it all out. I have moments where thinking about it or talking about it, I might break down for a moment, but then I say, but you have this to do or that to do, you can't keep crying. I don't know, it's, it's a lonely place to be because it's hard to get someone to understand what I'm going through who's never been through it. And so, it's a lonely place. You have to decide for yourself I am not going to let this become the excuse that stops me from living the life that I desire to live. Okay. We want to hear more from Shelly, and we're also going to add one more person to this story, so stick around. We'll be right back after this. We 
love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.